trail runner Reno Crusoe is joining me in studio along with filmmaker Dean Leslie from African Attachment to talk about their latest film, Travelin. Thank you for joining me. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Okay, so Travelin, what is it all about? I think for us it was uh, really a dream to, mm -hmm. to run across the Drakensberg uh, in, in the fastest possible time, but it was yeah. more just two friends getting together, taking on a challenge that didn't make sense to a lot of people, but hey, the mountain's there, we just did it. Well, you actually bro broke a record, so congratulations. Thank you very much. You and Ryan Sands yes. running the Drakensberg Grand Traverse. Now, how long is this traverse? It's about 215 kilometers, um, yeah, from the northern side of the Drogsburg Escarpment, um, mm -hmm. starting at the Sentinel Car Park all the way down to Bushman's Neck. Um, so it should, in theory, be downhill all the way, but there, there's quite a bit of climbing in between. That sounds insane. Now, how long did it take you to run? Uh, it took us 41 hours, 41, 49 minutes. Okay, and do you stop? Uh, or do you just, you must stop, you have to stop, you can't go for that long. Yeah, <laughs> we, we slept for 40 minutes. Um, Throughout the entire time? Yeah, after, after 24 hours we, we slept <laughs> for 40 minutes. Um, other than that, the trick is really to try not to stop. Um, even when we eat, etc., um, we will keep on moving. Um, and the biggest thing is just to really have that forward progression the whole time. Mentally, the moment you stop, it gets difficult to get going again. Yeah. Legs and everything get stiff. Um, so, yeah, we, we literally just try to keep on moving um, apart from that 40 minutes leap. Okay, Dean, you decided to document this all on film. It doesn't sound like an easy thing to do. Uh, no, it's... Um I've, I've been to the Drakensberg a few times, yeah. but I don't think I really um, quite understood how remote it is uh, once you get on the escarpment. Rena tried to prepare us, but uh, you've really just got to see the landscape to understand how big it is and how, how quickly things can go wrong if you don't prepare properly. So a large part of Trevelyan was like six months of solid preparation, getting everything ready so that when we were there, we could cover all the different scenarios if they did happen because they've still got to get across, so you can plan for them to finish, but right. what happens if something goes wrong in the middle of the night? Or So there's quite a big uh, logistics and pre-production. Six months of preparation. Yeah, it was about six months um, in total, um, for these guys probably longer. What kind of events do you have to prepare for? Uh, we specialize in trail running uh, documentaries so mm -hmm. we film all over the world North America okay. and Europe and so it's a lot of crazy guys like this do, yeah. doing these <laughs> things so.